Well, many Green Country runners are back home from Boston tonight. More than 80 Oklahomans registered for the race. Two News reporter Dan Perlman spoke with one runner just as he got off the plane this evening at Tulsa International Airport. Dan? Yeah, Vince Blocker is glad to be home tonight. His first Boston Marathon proved to be a memorable one, but for all the wrong reasons. Monday's Boston Marathon. It's lined the whole way with people cheering you on. For the first time, Vince Blocker ran the 26-mile course. Well, the energy that's there is, it's incredible. He finished and made his way to a medical tent. There was a lady that was assisting me. That's when the first bomb exploded. Vince asked the woman what happened. She responded that she thought it was a cannon. Then a second explosion. And she looked at me and shrugged her shoulders like, I don't know what that was. A TV in the tent showed the aftermath. Vince says the nurses and doctors there asked everyone who could leave to do so. He left. I was never scared. He met up with some of his friends. They were able to reach his son to let him know Vince was okay. He put a message on Facebook saying that I was fine and there wouldn't, I didn't have any issues. Four hours after the explosion, Vince was ready to walk to his hotel several miles away in Cambridge. Luckily, the subway system was up and running again. Now, Vince is looking back on the trip. The, the people of Boston are amazing. And he is confident that next year's marathon will be run. I know the security, especially around in the city of Boston, will be different uh, next year, but um, you know, the marathon will go on. I, I have no doubt about that. On top of what happened yesterday, Vince was flying American Airlines black back to Tulsa. He says he sat on the plane for three hours today because of that system-wide outage that the airline was facing. That happened before he finally returned home to Tulsa. Live in the newsroom, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.